Hey everyone, welcome back to CodeCrafter Hub. Today, we are diving into the world of free static web hosting. And I'll got something a little different to show you. Forget the big names. We are checking out newcomer called Tiny Host. Now, I know you have a lot of questions. Free hosting? Is it even worth my time? Well, stick around because Tiny might just surprise you. What is Tiny Host? So, what exactly is Tiny Host? It's a simple and straightforward platform for hosting your static website for absolutely free. No hidden fees, no confusing plans, just drag and drop your files, hit launch, and boom, your website is live. However, Tiny offers more than simply freedom in terms of features. It is powerful. Now let's explore it. Super easy to use. Seriously, drag and drop and you are done. No need for file transfer protocol or complex configurations. Instance deployments. Say goodbye to waiting around for your website to go live. In just a few seconds, Tini has it running. Global Content Delivery Network. Your website will be lightning fast for everyone no matter where they are in the world custom subdomain while you won't get a custom domain name for free you can choose your own subdomain to personalize your site ssl encryption security matters and tiny makes sure your website is safe and secure it is powerful so let's time to check limitations now as with everything free, there are some limitations to be aware of. Support format. Tinyhost currently support only for the HTML, zip and PDF file. Another thing is, Tinyhost is not support for the PHP file. E-commerce site. Tinyhost do not in the traditional content management system way, but they do support static e-commerce sites. Databases. So, any dynamic functionality is out of the picture. Imagine. It has reviewer for static pages and portfolios. Email servers. You will need a separate service for your email needs. Large storage. You get 3 MB for free storage for file uploads, which is good for a small website, but might not be enough for the bigger project. Now time to check how to work with Tiny Host. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. First of all, we need to log into the this Tiny Host website. For that, you need to click on this login button. Now I am going to click on that. After that, you can use your email address for this option. In this time, I am going to use this Google option to log into this Tiny Host website. After login to your account, you can see this kind of window. For host your website, you need to click on this upload button. Now you need to provide subdomain for your website. Now I am going to provide subdomain for this. Our next step is uploading the our file. In this time, I am going to use zip file. Before the uploading, now I am going to show you what other things include inside of my zip file. In here, you can see my zip file. Now I am going to unzip that. Now I am going to drag zip file to Visual Studio Code Editor. In here you can see inside of that my zip file you can see it have two folder. One is asset. You can see this. Another one is images and index.html file and script.js file and style.css file. Now I am going to show you local output of this 
in here you can see my local output of that my zip file now i'm going to drag that file to this after the drag our file we need to click on this publish button In here you can see my website is now live I can check that by click on this URL yeah in here you can see my portfolio under this live section you can see domain and under that domain you can see my website domain and in here you can see button that for edit site and in here you can see this link analytics button after that you can see last updated date and under this action you can see update and in here you can see another button for the copy link and in here you can see QR code for my website and in here you can see they are providing option to delete the my website and finally you can see in here three dot option now i am going to click on that under that you can see copy link view qr code embedded view analytics edit replace existing file download copy archive delete if you wish to add custom domain you can use this section to at the custom domain is tiny host right for you so who should consider tiny host it's ideal for beginners building their first static website developers who need a quick and easy platform for testing and deploying projects anyone looking for simple and free way to showcase their portfolio or creative work but if you need a website with complex functionalities database or custom domain name you might need to look elsewhere if you are interested give tiny host a try i'll include the link in the description below and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button subscribe for more content and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from codecrafter hub thanks for watching and happy hosting